Greetings Zimbabwe, Africa and the world. Welcome to In Conversation with Trevor, brought to you by Titan Law. I go beyond the headlines and beyond the sensational. Today I'm in conversation with accountant and renowned gospel singer, Janet Manyoa. I hope you enjoy the show. Janet Manuel, welcome to In Conversation <laughs> with Trevor. Thank you very much. That's the way that uh, we are now having to Great. greet each other. That's correct. Uh, Thank you for having me. It's a, it's a great pleasure having you here. Happy birthday. It's, it's your birthday today. Thank you. Thank you. I'm feeling very special. You're very special. <laughs> You're very special to a lot of people. Yeah. Looking back at your life, I mean, birthdays are those opportunities or occasions when we look back at our, our lives. Mm. What, what comes through your mind when you look back at your life? Uh, birthdays in my parents' home was very, were very special. So uh, we took that time to speak into each other's lives. And uh, I remember all the things they say to me. Mm. God is going to uh, bless you. You are going to be blessed coming in and going out. And uh, you are going far. And all those. Were, it, it seemed like just rhetoric. Um, uh, statements at that time but I'm remembering everything that was spoken in those days and seeing how God has just come through for me so I am I'm feeling very blessed uh, you're feeling very blessed when you look mm. back at your life what's mm. been what have been the highlights um, there have been many highlights obviously um, then having children I've got three kids uh, those are major highlights for me but uh, before the kids was the special man I got married to. That was a major highlight in my life. Uh, I grew up uh, as a, I think, a very intelligent uh, school-going girl. So I remember all those things that uh, uh, happened as I grew up and me singing from church to school. Yeah, yeah, it's been a Good life. <laughs> it's been a good life. Yes. And, and the tradition mm -hmm. of uh, speaking mm -hmm. uh, to, your, to, to your children, mm -hmm. uh, have you taken that over from, from what your parents used to do to you, to, to your kids? Definitely I have. So um, after celebrating and we, we eat the cake and whatever in my family now, uh, we take the time to actually shut everything down and speak to each other. Because sometimes we, we go through life and don't say the, the special things. Like, you know, Janet, when you um, came to the hospital and I was sick, it really meant a lot to me. And uh, we go through life not knowing all those special moments. So we take that time to really speak to each other and say and tell my child, you know, Matipa, when you um, brought me tea, a coffee in bed that day, it was very special to me. And she, she holds on to those special memories, and I think it's a great thing mm. to These have. are quality moments, yeah. moments when you, you do connect with, yes. the, with, the, with yes. the family. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you, looking back, at, mm. I mean, you, you've done, you've been singing now for, for five years. Yes. Uh, you launched uh, your deb debut album in, uh, in 2015, which mm. uh, has been hugely successful. Yes. Tell me about the process of putting that album together, your first one. My first your, one. The, the growing pains, as it were. <laughs> what sticks out to you as far as that album is concerned? Yeah, I think the, the first song I did uh, as a recording artist was really uh, nothing serious to me. It was just trying out because the pressure was now too much from family and from the uh, husband. So uh, I decided, okay, let me do it so that you see I've done it and get it over and done with. <laughs> nothing after this. <laughs> so I did my first song and um, it was well received. I was really surprised. It was a worship song, uh, Amazing God, which I featured um, Dr. Comfort Manyame. Uh, and I didn't think it would play on radio, but when I when I heard it on radio, I it just dawned on me that uh, God has got a purpose with my life, and 
uh, I guess I've been playing with that purpose and I wanted to pursue it more. So I then did the rest of the songs and um, I was working with a local producer then, uh, Tremia, and uh, he was my friend. So it was fun to do, but um, uh, Grateful, my second album, is when the work really began. It's interesting that um, from what you're saying, mm -hmm. your husband mm -hmm. saw the talent and yes. saw how great yeah. you are as a singer. Mm -hmm. The people, a lot of people around you saw that, but you doubted yourself. I I think I didn't really doubt. I saw myself as a uh, underground musician. I wanted to write songs. I started writing songs at age thirteen. 13, 10, when I was in grade 7, roundabout. Uh, and I knew that God had given me the gift, but I think I was just not willing to go the extra mile and be in the limelight. I, I had a name that I said, even when we, we did my first album, I wanted to be called Rejoice, right. which is my second name, so that no one would attach me to... <laughs> Not that I had skeletons or anything that I wanted to hide, but I just would see the pressure that um, that comes with being in the limelight, and I didn't want to do it. So how is it now, now that you've, you're hogging the limelight? Mm -hmm. How is it feeling <laughs> like? Are you enjoying it? I think uh, God gives the grace. Um, you know, uh, at every stage of our lives, we fight new battles. And for me, I feel that God has given me the grace to to step up uh, and uh, be it sing and to uh, hold back when I need to. So uh, I also have a very supportive family and um, friends around me who are truthful with me, who are very supportive, who my husband will leave no stone unturned. He will make sure I have the support I need. He'll ask, what do you really need? What do you want? Let's do this. So uh, I, I thank God for that. And that has been a source of strength for me to, to carry on. Yeah. So your husband plays an important role in, in, your, in your life. Yes, yes. He helps with uh, writing the, the mm -hmm, songs. Mm -hmm. He's a pillar of support? Very, very much. Uh, my creative process, usually I write songs. He's written one and helped me with others. Uh, he wrote uh, Murimwari, which I then developed. Uh, but it's a beautiful worship song. I think it's my favorite. I'm not trying to be biased, but <laughs> <laughs> I think it's my favorite on, uh, on Grateful, my album. Uh, but we were talking about uh, um, my husband being part of the creative process, yes. Um, so when I write my songs, I then very hesitantly go and say, so I've got a new song. <laughs> then he says, let's hear it. <laughs> 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 and then I try to say, you know, the song, what it means mm -hmm. is this. And then I explain, I talk. And then he's like, so let's now hear the song. <laughs> right, right. And then uh, sometimes I get a yay. Sometimes I get a nay. Mm. Uh, a few times I've, he said no. I think this is not you know, this is not uh, great. Go and write again. Yeah. Mm. So that's my first stumbling block. Then my next stumbling block is my producer, who then says, "Oh, it's fine, but you can do better, Jen." And then I have to go and rewrite. So yeah, mm. it's, it's fun. <laughs> it's, it's it's interesting for me um, uh, talking to you now, mm -hmm. having watched you perform live. Mm -hmm. You're two different characters. <laughs> On stage, you are you are live. You are yeah. you are. Yeah. Uh, you were something else, but in person you're a very shy, <laughs> withdrawn person. Uh, Talk to me about that. Uh, I don't think I'm very shy. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, like I said, I, I can withdraw where I need to, yeah. uh, and um, sometimes I need to be in the hat of uh, the accountant, and uh, I can easily go into that hat where I have to be a mom and I have to be washing dishes and taking my children on the back. Mm. I, I, I think it's the grace once again. Mm. I, I just give praises to God for enabling me to fit many, because I, I think as a gospel minister, there's a le certain level of um, uh, confidence that we need for us to be able to 
convey the message. So mm. I thank God that he gives me the grace at that point. But mm. if you see me a minute before that that uh, performance. You're shivering. So I'm shivering. I'm like, no, why? <laughs> but they say yeah. that's a healthy dose to mm -hmm. be able to continue to shiver no matter how long you've done this that's, stuff. That, that's a, a good dose of reality right there, isn't it? It is. It is. And I always have that reality check that the moment I think I can do it by myself, then we have a problem. Mm. Yeah. You are a, a mother. Yes. You are a, a wife. Mm. You are an accountant. Mm -hmm. um, talk to me about uh, the work-life balance. Mm. Uh, but I, I hear you clearly a committed wife uh, with a loving husband. Mm. I hear a mother who spends mm. time with uh, her, her mm -hmm. kids. Mm. I hear the singer who's blossoming and having mm -hmm. an amazing, mm -hmm. am amazing career. Mm -hmm. And a professional accountant. Mm -hmm. How do you juggle <laughs> all these things? Uh, it would be very unwise for me to take the credit for all that. I guess you've talked about four, four main pillars right now, the mom, the wife, the accountant and the singer. Um, I'm also a daughter. I'm a daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a aunt, sister and choir member and church, you know, all that. What I've learned uh, in the, in the few years that I have, um, been having to juggle many things is to prioritize so i'm one of those people who writes down to do list of the day and those are some of the practical things that i do in order for me not to be sidetracked so i i actually write down by the end of this day at least i should have done the top three mm. so the top three are my priorities uh, mm. despite whatever I've, I've learned to do those lists i've learned to be truthful why well, I can't do something, to say, look, um, I can't do it, but give me until um, such such a time, mm. I will do it. Um, I've learned to cut away inefficiencies. Um, I know most of our millennials uh, spend time on social media. Um, I, I think it's good, especially for me as um, uh, a person who has quite a number of people who, who, who communicate with me and follow my music, I set aside time to do that. Mm. If I were to always be on social media, we wouldn't achieve anything. Mm. So mm. Uh, I cut away groups. I, I, I don't spend too much time on social media. I set aside time to not look at my phone mm. so that I can speak to my children. Otherwise, uh, if I look at my phone, emails are coming. Uh, um, someone is asking for mentorship mm. and mm. all that and all that. So I have learned to compartmentalize and um, and exercise mm. is is a good good thing. Thing, yeah. yeah. Let's let's go back to the beginning, mm -hmm. um, where you were born, okay. the family in which you were raised. Mm. Um, just talk to me about that. Um, I was born in Harare, but uh, I lived in Chekutu. Mm -hmm. I uh, lived in Chegu uh, uh up to grade five, and then we moved to Banket. Yes, yeah, so I'm a small town girl, mm. and uh, yeah, that, that's where I lived. I then moved to Arari uh, as I was about to start work. Yes. What were the biggest um, influences uh, at, at, at home when you were growing up? What were the values that you inculcated in you that you still uh, walk around? Mm -hmm you know, sh shape that, that have shaped you? Uh, I think the biggest thing that my parents um, gave me was uh, salvation, definitely, and uh, leading me to the Lord and loving the Lord for myself. Uh, obviously, it, uh, they couldn't force it down my throat, but at a certain time, I guess I was uh, doing my O levels. I then uh, gave my life to Christ by myself and I'm always happy that I made that decision by myself without their their input but I saw how uh, God moved in their lives and it it definitely um, had a great impact on me uh, the some of the biggest values that I learned especially from my mother are modesty mm -hmm. that one has, is a big one uh, modesty and um, uh, prayer yeah yeah prayer 
yes <laughs> my mom and uh, uh honesty from my dad and truthfulness Th those are some of the biggest things i got from that and, and your dad was a catalyst in yes. in making you go to music school at 10 yes. years old yes. am i am i right yes. talk to me about that um i was sent to piano school so i did piano and vocals at that time um i was in in the fifth grade so after school I would pass through a, a home of one of our family friends and I had a teacher come from Chinoy uh, to teach me piano at, 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 at that place at that time. And uh, I didn't take it seriously. I was like, other children <laughs> are playing <out. laughs> are playing, and I'm having just two hours of piano and my gifts were keyboards and all that and at that time i i still wonder what they had seen but i i guess it was uh the doing of the lord so uh, they sent me to 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 do music at that time and it it gave me a good understanding which so I, you you haven't had the conversation with dad why did you make me do music at 10 years old i i, I did have a, a conversation i have had many conversations with him now that I even understand more, and he, he, he's got his uh, testimony of mm. how things happened, how they prayed. They wanted to call me Miriam because they felt I was a worshiper, even when I was uh, uh, a day old. So I think one of my fourth name would have been Miriam, but <laughs> they then called me Rejoice. So um, they, they, they had a great understanding of. Maybe it was for ministry purposes, or uh, I always say, no, you wanted me to be a singer, so that I sing in your church. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I guess it was the doing of the Lord, and all that has worked together for good. It's worked together for good because yeah. you uh, have, uh, uh, since 2015, I think you've come up with about uh, so many awards, 27 awards actually, yes. I was counting, yes. 27 hours and 15 <laughs> uh, in, in five years. Yes. Uh, and uh, you have been put in a list of uh, the 100 most influential Zimbabweans mm. under 40 mm. years. Yes, yes, uh, yes. That's a huge achievement in a very short space of time. It has, it has. Um, yeah, I thank God for that. It's. Uh, it's sobering to, to just think about all that recognition and say, wow, really? Uh, I guess one of my first, the first awards I won was the uh, Best Female Musician at the Zimbabwe Music Awards, and that was uh, in 2015. And uh, um, at that time, many people uh, felt they didn't know who was Janet Manu or why and, and, and all that. But I, I believe in continuing to do what you do and your work should speak for itself. And I, I thank God for all that that has happened. And you, what a lot of people don't know, at least what surprised me as mm. I was reading around you, is that you are an accountant. Yes. yes. Um, uh, you, you've, you've trained, uh, you actually spend quite a lot of your time doing finance and, and accounting. Yes. Uh, and, and yet you've got this uh, blooming uh, mm. lifestyle, as mm. a uh, career rather, as a, as, a, as, a, as a singer, how? Yeah. Which one would you choose if you were asked <laughs> to choose? <laughs> no, I was. Uh, something came to mind where people say uh, accountants are boring. How are you an accountant and a singer? So this is just to show that accountants are not that boring. boring. <laughs> they also uh, are, can be creative. Uh, if I were to choose one, um, for me, I believe that accounting was the route towards the purpose okay. because the things that I learned in in accounting I won't say the name of my the firm I lent uh, I, I, I trained with but our logo was quality in everything you do mm -hmm. and I remember it up to today I always say if I could put it I, I can't uh, steal it now <laughs> because it's already taken but uh, quality in everything you do um, was impressed upon mm -hmm. me uh, even in the accounting era. So I, I think it was a means to an end. And if I were to choose, I'd be a musician who accounts for her money. <laughs> <laughs> so in a way, you're saying uh, that uh, the discipline of accounting yes. has actually helped your singing career, is that what you're saying? It has. Um, um, my team usually says, Aish, your attention to detail is too much. And I also think it's that 
sides that I learned as an auditor to pay attention to every little detail, which I still take into my um, music and uh, pay attention. I do pay attention to detail, and I know it sometimes it it uh, it works hard <laughs> on everybody, but I think it's a important aspect for everybody to have whatever qualifications that God has given us everything should be intertwined and uh, help us fulfill our purpose mm. yeah. so talking about paying attention to detail mm -hmm. and being a stickler, a stickler for perfection mm -hmm. your videos mm -hmm. are, mm -hmm. are beautiful <laughs> thank you thank professionally you. produced thank you. Thank you. Uh, is that deliberate and yes. uh, how have you arrived at that yes. Um, video concepts, I, I will credit Mr. Manyoa for that. You, you should see me kicking and screaming each time we want to do a video. I'm like, no, I'm tired. <laughs> and all that uh, because I know the work that comes with the video. But when it's now an end product, I'm happy. But uh, the, um, the work that goes into videos is quite a lot. The resources as well of uh, putting it together is is quite a lot. But you asked, uh, is it intentional, mm, right, for us to yeah. have videos like that? It is very, very intentional. Uh, one of the things I believe is as um, uh, bearers of the gospel, we don't need to be, we don't need people to listen to gospel music because they are sympathetic. I think people should listen to gospel and because we are, delivering the best quality that is uh, that we can and we are uh, bringing out products of an international standard so I, I i am just i call myself blessed to be able to be an ambassador of jesus in this season uh and be able to do it properly because uh if you listen to my track ndimi god created oh. all this and he he's his standards are pretty high. Mm. <laughs> if I were to look around, look around you, you would see that God's standards are pretty high and we can't be offering mediocre to him. Talking of Ndimi, as you talk about it right now, yeah. my heart goes boom, boom, Aww. because it's an amazing song. Thank you. I think it has made me, uh, you know, shed tears wow. once or twice. Wow. Talk, me, talk to me about your creative process as far as that song is concerned and many others mm -hmm. how do you arrive at putting the song together it's mm -hmm. such a it's such a powerful song it stirs up your connection mm -hmm. to god and and it, it it puts you in a in a, in a very um spiritual zone talk mm -hmm. about that process to me um for me especially my worship songs they just come out of uh times of worship, personal worship and meditation. So uh, Ndimi uh, came to me as I was driving to work, I think one of the days, and I was just looking at all the challenges that people are going through. People are, are, are heavy laden with so many issues, and but where can we get our help? Who can we look to? And it, I just started singing Ndimi and looking at his creation on the other side to see, God, you did all this. Mm -hmm. You are, and there's mm -hmm. no one else. And um, I guess the creative part of it was, it's, it's one of the songs that took me the shortest time really? to put together, uh, uh, because once I put it up with the board of uh, uh, provers, <laughs> <laughs> It was it was an instant uh, uh, what hit hit it was an instant verified yeah, <laughs> yeah so after that we, I I then sent my track to my producer he loved it and he mm. did the music for it and we then did a video and released that I'd never done that to release a song and a video at the same time so it was um, done in a very short space of time. But the message that it brings is uh, very real to me. And I guess it, I know that when something ministers to me, it will minister to the next person. It ministers well. to a lot of people, Janet, yeah. because yeah. Uh, the last time I checked, uh, you know, it was sitting at close to 700,000 yes. uh, yes. views yes. On, on YouTube. That's, yes. uh, that, yeah. that's huge. So it's ministering to a lot of people. What kind of feedback do you get from the public when you've done 
the songs that you do, like Ndimi, for instance? The feedback is is amazing. Sometimes I, I like I said, I take time to to read and uh, absorb everything that people are saying. And the testimonies that I get of mm. uh, people in, in hospitals, in comas, saying I was in a coma, I think that was for one of my tracks, Zadzisa, where someone wrote to me and said I was in a coma for two weeks, I think, and the only song they played was Zadzisa. And you don't know what it did to me to be alive and walking today. It, it really shook me. And mm. um, if I'd never taken it seriously, from that moment, I did. And uh, the testimonies that come, even just for people um, seeing hope, mm. people receiving salvation, people seeing the light, people being revived, uh, people celebrating what God has done, it, it really uplifts me and it, it makes me feel, who am I to say I'm stopping or I don't want to do this because, mm. God, you're doing a great work and let your name be glorified mm. yeah yeah mm. Mm. your your husband um munyaradzi mm. manyo um we've already said uh, indicated that he plays an important role in your in your life mm -hmm. uh, he's also your manager yes um he helps you with uh, with with writing songs and mm -hmm. from what you're saying he plays a big role in pushing you to yes. become an even better person is is supportive yes. uh talk to me about that uh, he's, uh, he's very supportive. Um, I will just share something and say, you know, before I ma I got married to him, I thought I'd marry a guitarist <laughs> or, or a pianist or someone who, who, who actually plays an instrument so mm -hmm. that we sing together mm. and you know, God will be glorified. <laughs> <laughs> And, and you went and married an accountant <laughs> who's been pushing you to become a better musician. And then I married an accountant. And I always tell him I wouldn't have had it any other way. Wow. I wouldn't have um, married someone who can sing with me but doesn't have the passion to push the music mm. or the passion to, to market the music the way mm. he does. Mm. Uh, uh, those who have seen uh, the way our brand, they, they do know that we we are very intentional about how we do things, and uh, he is very he pushes me to the limit. He 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 makes my home environment a place um, which is conducive for what I do. Mm. If, if you get what I mean, I do. You I can do. be in a in a place which stifles progress, and uh, um, if he 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 will help me with the children. He will encourage me, love, I haven't seen you praying, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> May you, uh, do you need time to connect with God? You are busy with mommy issues. Uh, I will help you with the children so that you have time. And so all those things help me. And there are many things that happen um, uh, uh, off camera that help build and uh, I'm, I'm very grateful for, for what is done. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't that bring a bit of tension in the marriage? In terms of? In terms of him pushing you, um, <laughs> you know, watching, you know, this is not good enough, you yes, know, do some more. Yes, no. uh, one thing I've learned is to separate and uh, I, I think we, we are work in progress. It, we, we try but almost to separate the music from the marriage. So. Mm. When it's when there are times we say no music, mm. no, not don't talk about a song <laughs> about it. That's discipline. About that. Instagram, don't talk about anything. We're not gonna talk about um, uh, music because we, it it can get very consuming that we are talking about. Okay, so how many our songs should be on the next album and we okay after that so how are you writing why are you not writing a new song mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's pushing and and all that so uh we have learned to each what each one of us can say i need janet the mm -hmm. wife mm -hmm. uh, or i need Munya and the husband. Not, I don't need the manager right now <laughs> in this conversation. <laughs> so yeah, it's just learning to to separate that and also having time to to 
to talk about other things, which I think mm. communication is key mm. in any relationship. Mm. And uh, in our marriage, we've seen that if we don't communicate about something, it mm. builds all sorts of tension mm. in the future. You've got, you've got, you've already mentioned your three kids, Matipa, Waishe, Waishe and, and Mufaro. Mufaro. Uh, yeah. Do you see any one of them taking after you? Uh, Matipa really loves singing. Uh, why she says is a drama, <laughs> and uh, I encourage them uh, to pursue um, whichever areas that they they feel they have a calling. Um, but um, I don't think I will force them to to be musicians, mm. but I will let them be. Maybe they also love the attention that they get. Mm. You know, Why are you Janice children? Why? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure as they grow up, they will we'll see how, mm. how it pans out. Apart from singing, do you mm. play any other instruments? Yes, I'm playing piano now, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Okay, that, that's, so you just piano yes, and, I, and I nothing did, else? I did do violin, but uh, no, no. I don't play. I, I love to hear it, mm. but not me play. So your 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 speciality is, is singing. Is singing and yes. and the writing. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you you've chosen um, Andrew Bad um, at in 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 South Africa as mm. your uh, uh, for 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 recording. Mm. What what made you make that decision? Um, funny story is when I was uh, um, fifteen or something. I called Andrew Bed and uh, from home. I was in way <laughs> down in blanket and I don't know where I got his number and I called him and I said, Hello, my name is Janet. Uh, I've written a number of songs. I'd like you to produce my songs. <laughs> when you were 15? When I was 15. I don't know what had gotten over me that day. And um, he, he said, Sweetheart, how old are you? <laughs> and I said, I'm 15. And he said, um, let's give it a bit of time, okay? He could, he could uh, hear the zeal and all in the, in the voice. But uh, yeah, it was, it was quite funny. Uh, and I, long story short, I remind him to this day, Andrew, do you know you'd refuse to do my song when I was 15? And 20 years later, you're, you're doing my songs. Uh, but the main reason why uh, we, we, we then uh, recorded our music with Andrew is like from that time in 15, I could really relate to how his interpretation mm. of music. It, mm. it was amazing. He was uh, um, doing celebration um, music mm. at that time. And uh, his understanding of music is just amazing. And uh, he did, he, he interpreted Zadzisa for me. That was the first song I did with him. And we were trying it out, obviously. But when he sent the song back, mm. I was like, wow, is this my song? I loved it totally. And he, I think with working together more and more, he has um, managed to capture the sound that, mm. uh, that, that we were looking for. And uh, he's very professional. One thing about Andrew is he sticks to his word. Um, mm. I, I won't put too much comparison with our other folk, but there's a certain professionalism that you get uh, from a dedicated mm. uh, producer and I would really love to see that happen with all our musicians if, mm. in terms of keeping time, keeping your word, um, uh, not over promising you, giving you things, giving you leads that make the product better and it's a blessing that we have managed to to work with him um, despite how how much resources it needs for us to do that. We, we feel it's worth it to and, work with and, and looking at um, your presence on, on YouTube and seeing you p perform, mm -hmm. where do, what's the biggest revenue stream for you? Does it come from selling CDs? Does mm -hmm. it come from YouTube? Does it come from live performances? Um, I think the biggest stream, hey, I'm not the manager, but the biggest stream should be iTunes. Mm -hmm. Uh, followed by live performances, mm -hmm. uh, followed by YouTube, followed by, um, uh, no, no, maybe endorsements mm -hmm. also come in the mix and and then um, uh, CD sales. Mm -hmm. So CD sales are, sales are the CD sales, small yeah, part of the business? In the long run, yes, but they, 
the other smaller chunk. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. 2017, you launched uh, a talk show, Redeem. <laughs> how, how is it going? <laughs> Um, I put it on hold for a bit <laughs> because um, I'm sure you would understand the work <laughs> that's involved in putting a, a, a talk show together. I, I'm, I'm refocusing a bit um, um, to do with the show. I, I, when I do it again, which was the initial idea, I wanted to have more uh, live performances on mm -hmm. the show. So mm -hmm. um, when I do it, when I come back, I left it because I wanted to concentrate on the album. And um, when I put my feet in, I realized it was more work than I anticipated. So we will re-energize and we'll and come back. We'll come back. And if, uh, looking at your life, I'm sure young people um, mm -hmm. who look at you as a role model um, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm absolutely amazed by the fact that you are juggling all these balls in the air mm -hmm. in a very difficult economic mm -hmm. environment. Mm -hmm. What message would you have to the young mm -hmm. people, young women who are mm -hmm. struggling to get jobs, uh, keep jobs, who are struggling to, to, to be entre entrepreneurs? What message would you have for them? Um, I think the message that I, that's on my heart of late, I think for a while, is diligence. Uh, sometimes we we don't succeed to the level that we want to, either because we are not patient, or we're not diligent in the area that God has placed us. So uh, you might still be a a housemaid. Uh, how diligent are you in doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. and how trustworthy are you? Uh, I, I think most uh, young people feel that they are going to be trustworthy businessmen, but they are not trustworthy children in mm. their family. And I think whatever um, uh, area that God is going to place you in the future, the place you are at now is preparing you mm. for that place. Mm. So for the young young uh, children, I, uh, young boys and girls, who have understanding of where they're going, I always say, you can't be a successful um, musician 20 years from now, yet right now you are, uh, you're not committed to the place. You are a musician and you're seeing yourself as a musician in the future. So I, I really believe in faithfulness and diligence and commitment and, mm. and uh, hard work. And, and all that that comes with that. Um, I always speak, I, I've got a group of girls I speak with who are aspiring musicians. Um, uh, once a year I do have a number of girls I speak to and I always tell them, um, be diligent where you're serving. Pay attention to detail to your personal life, pay attention to your personal life and pay attention to what you put out there, be it your CDs, do they have the correct spelling of your name? Do, do they have, uh, have you packaged it? You might not be the best, but have you packaged it the best way you can? Mm -hmm. So you might not be where uh, Tasha Cobbs is, but are you doing the best at the level? that God has placed. You might not be where Janet Manoa is, but yes. are you doing the best that, that Janet can? I'm doing the very best that Janet can do. <laughs> Tell me, when some, what if somebody comes back to you and says, but how do I know that this is where God has placed me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I'm struggling, mm -hmm. um, even where I am right now. Mm -hmm. um, how do I know that this is what God wants me to do? Um, I think for me, um, Relationship is important. Uh, I, I always give an example that if you you cannot really tell what is God speaking to you on basic things, um, how will you tell when it's big things? Mm. So I, I really think relationship with God, if, if God is your source of direction, then surely that relationship needs to be nurtured and that relationship uh, should count for something. Mm. You should be able to, to, to know that my maker 
if I have peace in this, for, for me, I, I, I move in peace. If I've got peace in doing something, mm. um, and I've prayed for signs that God, what is the sign? Give me a sign. And the sign is in the positive. I believe I'm walking in the right path. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe I have the mind of God. Whatever I decide, I'm moving in the, in the power of God already. So I, I think relationship with, with, boils with down. your creator. Relationship matters. So your relationship with God is, is from, from what you're saying, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, um, your favorite scripture, mm -hmm. uh, which encapsulates what encapsulates what you're doing, is Psalm 29, 29. verse yes. two: yes. "Give unto the Lord the glory due unto His name. Mm -hmm. Worship the Lord in beauty, and in, and holi in, in holiness." Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. My relationship with uh, with God is definitely not hundred percent where I need it to be, but it is. I believe that God sees the condition of our hearts and if he sees my heart, I believe he knows that I love him with all my heart and I will diligently serve him as long as I live. So that is what I live by and I will worship him in splendor. I will do everything that I can in my power um, to make him famous. Mm. You you found your purpose. Yes. yes You're sure yes. of that? I believe I, I am sure. Mm. I'm 100% sure mm. that whatever has happened in my life has been leading me to, to the place that I'm moving to right now. I'm not yet there, but the place I'm moving to. And I, I, I get the sense that you, you have a group of young people that you mentor. Is, yes. that, is that right? Yes. Talk yes. to me about that. Yes. Um, so every year... Um, well, this came from the fact that I would have a lot of messages and inboxes. Can you please in mentor me? Can you please tell me how do I write a song? How do I do one or two things? So um, because of my schedules and all those hats that we talked about earlier, mm. uh, I probably can't do one-on-ones with mm. everybody. So I, I choose 20 girls who write to me, and um, we sit down, we talk, and then for the rest of the year, I'm opening my myself to those, mm. so that at least I am concentrating on on a few. Uh, if they take, um, uh, if they make good use of the opportunity, praise the Lord. If they don't, well, it's up to them. But I will choose twenty um, girls. I I chose girls in this season because. I'm a girl, and that's the language I understand, <laughs> girlish. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I've been doing, I think, for the past two years. And it's great to see some of them moving to being recording artists and uh, seeing some of them um, start writing and start uh, packaging themselves in a better way. And so, yeah, that, that's inspired. You're seeing the inspired rewards. 20. You're yes, seeing the rewards. Yes. Yeah. And I think most of them will be... Um, even more in the future. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you have a mentor yourself? Yes, I do have um, in my compartments, I do have um, women uh, that I speak to for different areas, mm. marriage, mm. Uh, um, uh, career, mm. music. I, I do have in music, it's mainly Pastor Bonnie Duchelle, um, My Shingisai Soluma, and Dr. Comfort Manyami. Mm. Yes. Mm. How important is that, having people that speak to your life that guide you? It is very important. Um, I still serve in my church and, and uh, in the music ministry. And the reason why I do that is I want to be accountable. Um, I, I want someone to be able to tell me you're on the wrong path. Mm. And I listen to them. So. Um, despite obviously my husband and my, my, my family around me, I also think there is uh, a blessing in just honoring someone who has walked that path before, who can tell you of the pitfalls and um, show you the way. And some things you, I, I would, uh, I sang with my Saluma, um, if I can just share, when, sure, when, when, when I met her, and what she told me 
were solutions to things I thought were so difficult. <laughs> so Wisdom difficult. She from is, experience. Exactly, from experience. And just meeting her was so, so, so... It was... I think it was bigger than singing with her. Mm. Yeah, so it's very important for everyone to have a mentor, to have... Because of our busy schedule, sometimes I, I don't like to then put... Um, demands on mentors that are very uh, hard and then mm. the rela relationship breaks down because you can't meet all those meetings you mm. said mm. that you do so we, I do it at my own pace and but I know that I've got sounding boards I've mm. got people I can mm. run to at any time and they are willing to hear me rather than me texting them every day okay so what do you think about <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. great. You, you, um, with this busy life, uh, the, the 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 singing, uh, the church, uh, leading the church, uh, mm -hmm. praise and worship, mm -hmm. being a wife, being mm -hmm. a mom. Do you get time to relax? How and how do you relax? I ask for time out. You ask for time I out. I ask for time out. I I actually communicate. Please, my time out. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what do you do during your time out? I travel okay. to a different place okay. and just, uh, and I'm always energized when we are back. It doesn't have to be out of the country or anything. Mm. It can just be to a serene place where I also just feel I'm connecting with, um, mm. with God and with myself. Mm. So I, I have learned to ask for time out and actually um, speak out and not bottle things. Down. You exercise. Yes, I do. You do I some do. sport? I do. I play tennis mm -hmm. because of the busy schedule sometimes and because I, you know, I always win, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the people I play with, hey, they are going to be shouting <laughs> when, they, <laughs> when they see this. Right. Um, I do play uh, tennis for leisure. I, I love tennis. Mm. Um, and then uh, I believe in exercising so much of late. Um, I've learned one of my mentors uh, taught me to exercise in the afternoon. So I've also started doing that. Mm. And it just why, why exercise in the afternoon? Because um, I'm a morning person, okay. so I already have energy for okay. the morning. I see. But what would happen is by the time we hit... Uh, uh, seven o'clock. You are. Uh, <laughs> so exercising that time picks you just up. Just picks me up, mm -hmm. and uh, so maybe my lunch time, mm -hmm. I'll I'll do an exercise. Then I can even stretch to ten p.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Do you, the, our viewers love um, books? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what books have you read mm -hmm. uh, in recent times that have made a huge impact on you that you'd want to share with? Uh, uh, people at home watching us right now? Uh, one uh, major book that I read was Commanding Your Morning, recently by Cindy Trim. And that's, that uh, book actually, I was thinking, this book led me to write Nyasha Nengoni. Really? Yes, because it, it talks about declarations a lot mm. and uh, the power of what you speak and mm -hmm. how do you see things. So uh, I think that book actually led me to write uh, one of my songs. So that's one of them. Um, I love Joyce Meyer's writing. Mm -hmm. uh, I find it very relational. And so um, I was reading Love Revolution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to read Battlefield of the Mind. I, mm -hmm. A lot of people mm -hmm. have said great things about that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mainly those uh, we, we meet at a time um, we have this conversation at a time Janet when um, uh, the world is reeling from this uh, coronavirus yes, yes, yes. and uh, I gather parts of your business have already been affected would you mind mm -hmm. sharing that you've had events cancelled talk to me about that um, I was supposed to travel to Nigeria um, for a show for yes for a show uh, this uh, I guess tomorrow it mm -hmm. was supposed to be tomorrow mm -hmm. yeah so it, it was cancelled and we couldn't go. Uh, I was also supposed to be, I'm working on my album this year, so we were going to record. So mm. it's something that... So that's been put on ice? We, we, are, we are battling on what to do because we've got a week to go and should we continue? Um, yeah, it, it has affected a lot of, especially in the arts entertainment industry, there's been a lot of cancellations, even one of the um, um, events I wanted to, I also like watching a lot of um, 
live concerts myself because mm. it, it just energizes me mm. and uh, we couldn't attend some of them anymore because of the cancellations yeah wow mm. Janet, thank you so much for coming. We would have to uh, end it the yes, way we yeah, started we it. Started, uh, yes. That's the era that we live in. Yeah. But uh, we live in faith yes. uh, and, and hope that yes. uh, this uh, coronavirus is going to be a mm. thing of the past uh, I believe pretty it's soon. soon well, yes. uh, you have an inspirational life. Uh, okay. Your singing touches a lot of us. Uh, and like you've said, you know, I think has led a lot of people to God. Mm -hmm. uh, may the mighty Lord continue to Amen. bless you, open Thank doors you. for you that Thank nobody will close, you. close doors that nobody will open. So thank you so much for finding time to come to us. Allow me to tend to our viewers at home. And thank you for watching uh, in the diaspora across the continent. Uh, thank you for supporting the show. Uh, remind you that In Conversation with Trevor is a weekly show. Uh, please press this subscribe button to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of these quality conversations. And please keep your comments coming. We love your comments. So click and comment uh, on the shows that you've watched. Until next time, cheers.